Um, I have this one little incidental piece here that I don't know where to put, but I just would like to mention it because it's such a great quote. This is a sculpture by an artist, a friend of ours named uh, Kerry Leibovitz. Uh, and he actually turned out, he actually works at Christie's, he's in the print department. Um, he makes work that's, most of it's sort of about being, about growing up as a, as a fat, gay, nerdy Jew. I mean, a lot, I mean, that's how he would describe his work. Um, and so it's very, it's about insecurity, and it's about these notions of insecurity. And he makes paintings, which you can't really see, and uh, they usually have some sort of flea of, you know, flea like paint kind of thing. Uh, then he also makes these kind of very throwaway type additions and multiples. And here is this pile of garbage cans with his picture from his bar mitzvah on it, and his bar mitzvah suit right there. Um, and uh, they put it in the pyramid. So I mean, it's, it's kind of related to like this idea of the commercial products. Again. I mean, it's sort of, you know, I think it counts as art. And he sells them, he sold them at one price if it was a garbage can, and another higher price if it was a, uh, an umbrella stand. So then, depending on, depending on what you thought of the work, you could cheat him out of that extra, you know, a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> by buying it as a garbage can and saying, I'm going to buy and use your work as a garbage can. And then you'd be like, you know, just kicking it in one more time, you know. Or you could go ahead and show your support for the artist and pay the extra price for the garbage can. But anyway, um, <laughs> so what makes you think? But he, um, he did this flea market, I mean, and I didn't take these pictures because this stuff is in our storage unit, and I saw them, they're up there in the Colorado. Um, I just visited them a couple weeks ago. Um, but he, we, another artist friend of ours did this flea market where he invited a bunch of people to come and set up a table and sell stuff. And it was in the gallery on Saturday. And Carrie came and he made these commemorative coffee cups. They were like Carrie Leibowitz, you know, Rob Pruitt's Flea Market 2001. And they were cheap, they were like 12 bucks for these coffee cups. And he had this pyramid again with coffee cups. And you know, people were buying them. And then at the end of the day, he had a box left over. So we bought some and he gave, we bought one and he gave us another one. He was like, no, no, it's coffee cups left over. And then he signs them. And he's like, well, I find that if I sign things, people are less likely to throw it away. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's true. And now seven years, six years later, they're still in our storage unit, not in the dishes side where our wedding stuff is. But over on the art rack, where there's like up and top and all around, all here. <laughs> and he was right. I mean, we keep it, not just because we signed it, but, you know, yeah, because he signed it. I mean, <laughs> so there's a weird power there that I don't understand. 